So I'm driving around doing errands today um, with my son and he got a little cranky and we're kind of in the middle of nowhere and um, so I stopped to feed him because he got cranky. It's been an interesting day so far. Um, I had to drop off some paperwork at my old job and I'm not really like mad about it. Um, you know, I'm definitely mad at the people there because the company was really good to me for the last two and a half years. Um, you know, they gave me time off to get married. Uh, two weeks after I started, I took two weeks off. Um, when Logan was born, uh, Sarah had some complications, so I took an extra week off. And they've just been really good. And even, you know, with this layoff, you know, layoffs suck, but even with this, they've been above and beyond what I think was to be expected. So, you know... I'm, I'm, you know, pretty, I don't want to say grateful, I'm pretty, I'm as okay with it as I think you can get. You drinking? Keep drinking! I guess ultimately the thing is, is that I, um, I didn't really, you know, I liked the people I was working with and I was making more money than I've ever made before, so I was really happy about that, but, uh, I didn't, didn't really like what I, it wasn't that I didn't like what I was doing, I believed in the product, but I just don't care about the industry I was working in like it's not you know wasn't the thing I wanted to do so sometimes I feel like that kind of job can be you know a job that's decent but not great can be worse than a job that's crappy because you know if a crappy job motivates you to get a better job a job where you're making more money than you've ever made but you're kind of floating by day to day is ultimately more dangerous just because of the complacency factor so we're almost home from all our errands Logan is passed out in the back seat, and it's funny because he falls asleep like 30 seconds before we arrive every single time. But yeah, he is passed out, and then I'm gonna have to get him out of the car and wake him up. So that's great. Passed out. So my wife uh, has a very low bar for what she considers handy. Um, so changing light bulbs, plunging toilets, that's about all the things she considers, well, that, not that she considers handy, but those are all it requires to, to be considered handy. Unfortunately, even though we love this house, um, basically every light bulb in this whole house has had to be replaced um, at least once, if not twice, and we've only been here 18 months. So it's been a little crazy. two of the bulbs because I'm going to have to do it soon anyway and I'm about four bulbs. I'm sure I need the other two bulbs in the package for something else. Perfect. Logan's watching Paddington. Paddington is a, you know, wonder drug for this kid. It will keep his attention almost no matter what except for when Daddy appears in the belt. So, I used to do book reviews on here. I'm not going to probably be doing full-on book reviews, but I will be mentioning any books that I finish reading um, when I do. Um, so I just finished yesterday The Trials of Apollo by Rick Reardon. Um, I fully recommend it. Um, if you're a fan of the Percy Jackson books, this is the third series. So it's the technically like the 11th book in the Greek mythology series of his. Um, but it is the first in the um, the Trials of Apollo series. It's called The Hidden Oracle. Uh, it was good. It wasn't as good as the Percy Jackson books. Um, but, you know, part of that is that the voice he wrote in uh, was first person from the point of view of Apollo, and Apollo's a narcissist, and so therefore it's not exactly as interesting as Percy Jackson or the Heroes of Olympus series. Series I? Series? 